Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Birch, and I'm one of the chiropractors at Team Healthcare Clinic. Today we're going to talk about a treatment that we offer called Interactive Metronome, or IM for short. This is one of the therapies that we've added to our clinic because we see there a real strong need for certain populations of people who really are underserved by the medical community. And those are people who have some kind of dysfunction with their brain, like ADD, or a, a subtle case of autism or somebody on the autism spectrum to something more major like a brain injury or a Parkinson's or stroke uh, patient. A metronome is a timed audible sound that you hear to help you with music class and that was how it was being used with autistic children. We are just trying to teach them how to stay on beat by hearing the sound like many of us were when we were children. What they found though was that these kids actually performed better in academics and socially as a result. One of the children's doctors is a neurologist interested in the whole idea of brain-based treatments for his autistic population of patients and he actually took this data and developed an interactive ability with it by using sensors and computers so that a therapist could actually see how precise the, the patient that they were working with was in hitting the beat. The more precise they were, the better predictably they were in other kinds of things like athletic performance, academics, uh, ability to communicate, uh, social skills. I in particular had a strong interest because one of my children has a, a brain injury and she has cerebral palsy and I, and I certainly recognize that there are things that just are not available to her through traditional means and, and it's been my passion then to find things for her as well as my own patients. One of the patients that I can think of whose life has greatly benefited from the brain-based treatment that we gave IM was a patient by the name of Bob who had a stroke and when he came in he had a, a kind of a an appearance of somebody who the brain really wasn't connecting. He was not engaging. His eyes did not track. When you talked to him, he turned his whole head. His eyes would not move. Um, very difficult with communication. His movement, he was not walking. He needed to be assisted in walking. The increased connections as a result of the work that we did allowed him to just have more of that human interaction that sometimes you can't describe, but you can see when it's gone you saw a major transformation in him. Not only was he able to now walk up and down the hallway many, many times without assistance, he actually engaged with his eyes. When I walked into the room, his eyes turned to meet me. He would smile. And that, and that was a patient that had already gone through traditional physical therapy as a result of his stroke. So this is what he was, it was believed this is what he was left with when in fact there were many good things available to him and that's where we came into it. I'd also like to mention a patient by the name of Allison, who is a young gal who struggles with attention and an ability to concentrate. And as a result of that, her scores in her classroom do not reflect what we think is her true capability. She did poorly in school. As a result of doing IM work, not only was she able to be off from her Ritalin, but she was also able to perform better in academics. And it was exciting for me. I, I get emotional thinking about it because I think of this little girl who, who th you know, kind of thought that she wasn't good enough in many ways. She required a drug. But as a result of the treatment, she actually realized that she didn't need to be on that drug. And she actually did very, very well in school. In fact, she's, a, she's an achiever. You know, as a doctor, what charges us up, and therapists too, is to see results. We want to see people who, not just who feel better or who have less pain, but whose lives are restored or who have greater function, who can do things that they weren't doing before. That's what gets us excited. That's what makes us thrilled in order to do what we do and to come here every day and work.